Did you know that Amazon calculates our royalties based on what type of distribution we choose? In this video, I will share with you how to set up the distribution of your book in such a way that enables you to receive the most royalties possible. Hi there, I'm Evie, an award-winning children's author and ghostwriter over on eviejones.com and the creator of Children's Book University. I create videos specifically for children's authors, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss my weekly videos. In this video, I'm going to share with you what our two distribution options are, why our choice regarding expanded distribution really matters, my expanded distribution recommendations for paperbacks, and my expanded distribution recommendations for hardcovers. And in the end, I'll share a humongous warning with you, something that you absolutely must pay attention to when deciding to enroll your book into expanded distribution. But before we dive in, what does expanded distribution mean? When speaking about the distribution of our books, Amazon's KDP, which is the print on demand platform I recommend to my clients, students and readers, provides us with two distribution options. Option one is the distribution of our book on Amazon only, where our book is sold directly on Amazon's websites only. Here, the royalty rate you'll earn for each sale is set to 60% and is based on your book's list price. This is the highest royalty rate possible. Option two is expanded distribution beyond just Amazon, where large book distributors can make your title available to other online retailers, libraries, universities, and booksellers. Here, the royalty rate you'll earn for each sale is set to 40%. Now, I have two quick side notes here that I want to mention because fellow authors always get really excited when they hear things like other online retailers and booksellers. Side note one is that when selecting Selecting expanded distribution, that does not mean that our book becomes automatically available in any of these other places. Enrolling your paperback in expanded distribution simply means that KDP will make your book available to distributors, so external places like booksellers and libraries can potentially find your book and order it. Enrolling your paperback in expanded distribution does not guarantee it will be accepted by distributors or ordered by a particular bookstore or a library. The decision to list your book lies with distributors and the decision to order your book lies solely with the individual booksellers and libraries. So that's really important to keep in mind. It's you, the author, who would still have to do all the legwork to get your books into bookstores if that's what you wish to do. And side note two is that as of right now, at the time of the making of this video, hardcover books are not eligible for expanded distribution via Amazon's KDP. So I am mainly referring to the paperback version of your book right here. So please keep that in mind. But getting back to our two options where our royalty rate is 60% for Amazon distribution and 40% if we select expanded distribution. That's a 20% difference, which is quite significant. To show you an example with actual numbers, let's look at one of my own paperbacks. Now, it's important to share that our royalty is based on a book's list price, the price at which it is currently sold at. So for this book example, one of my paperbacks currently sells for $12.99. That's the list price. With option one, where we have distribution only on Amazon, my royalties for this book at this price point would be $4.14. That's after printing costs and such have been deducted. If you want to see more details on how our royalties are calculated, I have made a separate video about how to determine the best pricing for our books. I'll be sure to link to that in the description below. With option two, on the other hand, with expanded distribution, my royalties for the same book at the same price point would be $1.55. Again, that's after printing costs and such have been deducted. $4.14 on royalties if I choose the internal Amazon only distribution and $1.55 on royalties if I choose the expanded distribution where I make it available outside of Amazon. So while the advantage would be that we are able to potentially reach more markets when we are selecting expanded distribution, the disadvantage is that our royalties are quite a lot lower. So what should we do? 
Well, we can actually have the best of these two options. We can have the highest possible royalty rate over on Amazon, the 60%, Plus, we have the ability to reach other sellers outside of Amazon. All we need is a separate provider for our expanded distribution. This would allow us to select the KDP's Amazon only option with its 60% royalty rate and use a second print on demand provider for our external sales. And the print on demand provider I would recommend for this is Ingram Spark. If you're not familiar with Ingram Spark, here are my two main reasons why I would recommend using it for our expanded distribution of our paperback. First, I recommend Ingram Spark to my students, readers, and clients because it has direct ties to Ingram, which has one of the biggest book distribution networks in the US. That's what most publishers use. And because of these direct ties, we are able to get a slightly higher royalty rate when compared to the expanded distribution royalty rate over on Amazon. And second, I already use Ingram Spark for all of my hardcover needs, mainly because Amazon's hardcover options are currently still very limited. If you have any hardcover questions, be sure to watch my separate video on that. I'll add it to the description below. So because I already have my hardcover set up over on Ingram Spark, it's fairly easy to simply add my paperbacks there as well. Again, by doing so, I can select the internal Amazon only distribution over on Amazon and use Ingram Spark for my expanded distribution. Now, if you should go this route, here is the warning I mentioned at the beginning of my video that we must really pay attention to. When planning to use both publishing platforms, KDP for our Amazon sales and Ingram Spark for our expanded distribution, we have to make sure we are publishing our paperback via KDP first. And only after it appears on sale on Amazon, we should then go ahead and publish and release our paperback via Ingram Spark as well. And here's why. If you publish your paperback on Ingram Spark first, because it is set up for expanded distribution over on Ingram Spark, it will push your book onto Amazon as well, meaning it would bypass KDP and set up a sales page on Amazon for your book that is being published via Ingram Spark. And here's why that's tricky. Each ISBN can only appear once on Amazon. So if you now want to publish your paperback via KDP with the same ISBN, it won't let you because Ingram Spark already used it and entered it into Amazon's database. So we will want to make sure we follow the correct publishing order. First, publish your paperback on KDP and don't select expanded distribution. Then once it is live, go ahead and also publish it on Ingram Spark. By following this order, KDP will set up your sales page on Amazon for your Amazon sales first. And so then once it goes live on Ingram Spark and their system tries to push your book onto Amazon, Amazon system won't let them because the ISBN has already been used. That way Ingram Spark knows to distribute your book in other online marketplaces, just not on Amazon. If you need help with your ISBN, if you have questions on whether or not you will need separate ISBNs for each of these platforms, make sure to watch my separate video about everything you'll need to know regarding ISBNs. I'll make sure to add the link to the description below. So to sum it all up, I use Ingram Spark for expanded distribution and KDP for my sales on Amazon. I do so mainly because that's what provides me with the highest royalty rate. I hope you found this video really useful in helping you decide whether you should enroll your book into KDP's expanded distribution. It can be really confusing, so hopefully that cleared things up a little bit. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't yet. It really encourages me to keep making free videos for you just like this one. Here's to your very own books distribution, my sweet friend. Bye.